Hey you guys, welcome to your weekend edition love in general reading. This is for the element of air. So if you are a Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius, Sun, Moon, or Rising, these messages are for you for the weekend of July 3rd through the 5th, 2020. Um, so I want to thank you guys for uh, liking, sharing, subscribing, and all of your support. Um, I ask for you uh, for your continued support. And uh, payments and orders are collected on Fridays if you want to book a personal reading. And then, you know, the additional information to reach me, uh, I've decided to put that in the description box. So um, let's go ahead and get started here. We have the central issue, Heart of the Matter, as the Page of Pentacles. We have the High Priestess. The Two of Wands. Hmm. The Ace of Wands, Six of Wands, Five of Cups, King of Pentacles, and Judgment. Okay, so the overall energy is maybe dealing with an Earth sign, uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and maybe someone taking their time to make an appearance or to make their presence known. Um, I feel like someone is watching you behind a veil. Maybe you already intuitively knew this. Um, and so maybe now you're just patiently waiting for confirmation. Um, I feel like a lot of people have been doing a little uh, snooping, maybe getting readings. Um, so I don't know if you've been getting readings on people or a person in particular, or if they have. And I feel too that there's always a need to pay attention to your dreams. And especially these two energies here looks like a premonition, like you had a premonition about something that is getting ready to happen or manifest maybe you can feel that um yeah matter of fact it does look like something is getting ready to manifest mm. now this is also asking you to trust your gut trust your intuition make decisions based off of your first initial gut feeling and i feel like intuitively you can already feel like something's getting ready to happen someone's getting ready to make a move um and here it is here some sort of action being taken now if this isn't about uh, dealing with anyone. This might be something that you have been secretly plotting or planning. Like you have been um, planning to move forward with something, but you just haven't been talking about it. You've been very quiet or very secretive about your moves and, you know, good because everybody doesn't know, need to know the details about what you're getting ready to do. Um, and in speaking about the details, now, this also indicates to me that um, if you've been trying to pry too far into the future, like at some, something, some things you're being veiled from, like you're not meant to know every single last detail. So, you know, if you've been doing readings on yourself or if you've been paying for readings and you're like, you, st you still feel like you don't have enough information you do have enough information um you, the the information that you have at this time is sufficient so make some sort of decision based on that now i do feel like whatever secrets there are at some point they do come uh to the light now this really looks like someone who is either shy or timid or super conscious about making moves. But I feel like something's going on where someone does take advantage of an opportunity to pursue you. 
um, if this is a love situation. It does look like, hey, okay, here's an opportunity. I've got enough confidence or something uh, inspired this person to come forward, so they're going to do it. Um, again, if it's not about any type of love situation, there is an opportunity being presented to you, and I feel like you have the courage to take it. Or there's something going on where you feel like you are inspired and you're like, I got this. You might have a lot of people uh, giving you a lot of attention or being very supportive of your um, passions or the things that you're doing. Like it looks like you have a lot of support. If you're in a relationship, this looks like mutual support. So I don't know what you and your partner could be doing as a couple, but I feel like you guys are mutually supporting each other or you're being each other's cheerleaders. Now, there's something that ends up disappointing. If you're wondering about like if somebody's going to contact you or if you're going to hear from somebody or I think what this is is that you're getting a lot of attention but all from the wrong people. It's not the people that you wanted attention from or it's just that one person in particular. You're like, oh, this, all this attention is nice and all, but I really want it from the other person. So some of you might be um, still longing to hear from somebody. Now, I don't know, maybe you both miss each other. There does seem to be some sort of regrets about the past. Um, the past maybe keeps haunting you, especially if you were dealing with an earth sign towards Virgo Capricorn. Looks like the, the, the past keeps haunting you. Now it also could be, you both could be haunted by each other. You know, they don't look so okay either. So something's going on where maybe spirit is trying to get the attention of both parties and you know, another opportunity is coming and it's just like, hey, here's another opportunity. The conditions are good for the two of you to come together. So I don't know if you guys are going to pass that opportunity up or not. Mm. I do feel like maybe you see a future with someone. Hmm. I feel too like spiritually something's going on where you feel inspired. Maybe this person somehow inspires you to do new and exciting things. Hmm. You might receive a literal phone call where someone is saying encouraging things to you or you are someone's encouragement. Anything that you've been um, procrastinating about or you keep putting it on the back burner, I feel like you just really need to address it. You might have a, a, an alarm continuously going off over the weekend reminding you about something. Um, so stop putting it off and just do it. Matter of fact, I do see you keep getting some sort of reminders about something. Hmm. I feel like business-wise, I feel like you're going to get a lot of attention about your business or your product. Hmm. Let me look at this Five of Cups here. Now this also looks like a possible hangover. Someone doing something that they regret. Um, so it does kind of seem like maybe someone got drunk and slept with somebody because they were stroking their ego and then you wake up the next morning and you're like, you're not what I wanted to do or who I wanted to do or <laughs> what was I thinking? So it could be a, a hangover moment for some of you. I feel like you also might get some sort of reality check this weekend. Something keeps saying address the past. Somebody
somebody wants to kiss and make up, um, I feel like someone is feeling bad about an argument or for letting ego get in the way of something. It's possible that there needs to be an apology or forgiveness. Um, it takes a lot of courage to open up and be vulnerable. And I feel like someone keeps maybe being too analytical about something that is a matter of the heart. It's like instead of trying to be so analytical about the next move, just let the heart uh, lead you. So I don't know if you're feeling disappointed about not letting your heart lead you or if this is someone around you and these are their feelings. Mm. Yeah, somebody is like, but I was trying to make a practical decision or I was trying to make the logical decision. And it's just like, this was a matter of the heart. You should have went with what your heart said. And it does look like this weekend is about following your heart or go in a direction that you feel passionate about. If, if there's something that you're wanting to do and you can't decide or you're kind of torn, you feel kind of iffy about one situation, but definitely passionate about the other. Do the one that, you know, you feel passionate about or go in that direction. Hmm. Let me look at this um, Ace of Wands. Now, it also could just be a lot of flirtation going on. So I feel like someone is indirectly flirting. Someone is, I feel like someone is taking something. Okay, so career-wise or things dealing with um, creative ideas, I feel like there's a need for you to protect your ideas because it looks like somebody is trying to take your ideas or get away with your something that was created by you or someone is claiming something they're claiming something to be theirs and it's not hmm Something feels like cheating. I don't know if somebody cheated and then they felt bad about it. That's what it kind of looks like. Or maybe somebody thought they would feel better by trying to hurt you, but it didn't. They end up hurting themselves and regretting it and feeling bad about something that they did. Mm. Yeah, I, I, I feel like that's the strongest situation I'm getting. I feel like somebody had revenge on a mind and they took an they took advantage of an opportunity, but they ended up hurting themselves. So this turned into some sort of self sabotage. Now something else also looks like being invited to something like you might get invited to something um i'm just trying to figure out why why is there deception in regards to this invitation maybe you're being secretly invited to something or maybe someone sent somebody to you for them <laughs> you know it's just like you go do it go ask this person for me I don't want to ask them directly tell them it's from me so I feel like someone is trying to pass something off on to another person to cause a, it, there's some sort of avoidance
somebody might feel bad and they're like, I don't want to face them personally, so I can't reach out directly to them. So somebody might feel guilty because they feel like they did something wrong. So they're like, they, I know they don't want to see my face or I know they don't want to hear directly from me. Can you do me a favor? Can you just tell them I said I'm sorry? Or can you tell them that I would like for them to come to this, that, or the other? So I feel like somebody is trying to extend an invitation There also could be some sort of unfinished business with you and a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Hmm. If you were waiting on a response from a water sign, I feel like you're going to get it, especially if it's job related. It looks like you're being called back in for a job or at least for an interview. Mm, yeah, I feel like something's being offered to you. Now also, something is a part of your destiny. I don't know if you've been trying to avoid a person or a situation, but it seems like it's part of your destiny. Um, hmm. I feel like when the time is right, something's going to happen. Something's going to come along. But I really feel like based off astrology, something has to do with the aligning of the planets. Um, in the meantime, you're being prepared for something. To, you're being prepared to confront the past. Hmm. Now this is for this weekend, but it is possible that something could extend out until uh, the next 30 days or for my female viewers, uh, as soon as your next menstrual cycle begins, uh, you're going to hear from somebody. Someone's going to reach out to you or you're being invited to something or you receive an answer or confirmation. I feel like someone also needs your help, but they, I don't know, maybe they feel like they can't ask you, but I do feel like someone needs your help or assistance. Let me see what this King of Pentacles is talking about here. Some of you are still holding on to an earth sign um, or it's possible they're still holding on to you. Yeah, I feel that um, something is like safekeeping, like, like you're being valued or some sort of keepsake, like you're a prize or a gift or something, something of value. Um, I feel like someone maybe realizes the truth or you are coming to the realization about the truth about someone. Someone's family could be really possessive or overbearing or controlling. Um, I feel like family members could be instigating in your life some type of way. Um, if you're involved with someone, it could be that their family is just like way too involved in your relationship. Uh, or it could be your family. Something's going on. If you're not dealing with anyone, then I feel like this could be directly dealing with your family. Someone is just too involved in something. Someone is very selfish with you. They don't want to share you with other people. They're coming off as maybe wanting to protect, but it becomes like overprotective.
Now, I also feel that in a love situation, someone has been wanting to come forward, but because of the baby's mom or the baby's father, or like I said, the family, that's been, they, they've, they haven't been able to break free from them. So I feel like this person's been patiently waiting for the right time, especially if they're an earth sign. This person seems to be very patient. Um, I feel that at some point, um, because they're also trying to do what's, what they feel comfortable doing, I feel like at some point, you know, outside forces are going to intervene and force the two of you to confront some sort of issues. I think somebody's been having issues with the, the mother, the their children, or the father of their ch children. And I feel like maybe somebody felt very obligated towards family, but I feel like they're going to break free from that. They're going to uh, eventually have their freedom and be able to do what they want to do. Yeah, someone feels like it's, they, they hope it's not too late. One minute they feel encouraged, the next minute they feel discouraged. All right, let's see what additional messages are coming out for air. All right, additional messages for Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. We have the fifth chakra, Archangel Michael, I'm sorry, Gabrielle. The sixth chakra, Archangel Metatron. Woman holding a heart. And central issue, broken heart. Uh, okay. Okay, off hand, I felt like somebody feels guilty or feels regrets unfollowing you or you regret unfollowing somebody um i feel like somebody unfollowed the other person and now feels like why did i do that i shouldn't have done that um they feel like they took action out in haste um or they were just trying to be um seek revenge but end up like i said self-sabotaging so that's what i just kind of got so Okay, you guys might be dealing with a broken heart or your heart might be trying to heal, um, but it requires communication or speech. And also something about that premonition is showing up again too. So I feel that, I feel that something's going on where these chakras could be blocked. Um, something could be urging you to speak your truth or maybe maybe you're ready to to speak your truth but you're someone coming towards you needs to be ready so i feel like someone has not been speaking or communicating because they are still hurting uh, which is really causing some sort of blockage within that area but i feel too with the sixth chakra you may have already had a dream or a premonition of something that's getting ready to happen. I also feel like something about this pain activated your um, your third eye. Because had you not experienced some sort of broken heart, this energy wouldn't have been activated. Um, so it could be a reason why someone came into your life and, and broke your heart. Even if it's not romantic, maybe your mom broke your heart or your dad or a very close friend. Hmm. You know what? I almost want to say somebody is learning a, a lesson for not speaking. I, I almost feel like spirit is like, well, it's your fault because you didn't speak up. So even if something happened at work, um, maybe you lost your job because you didn't say anything, because you knew something, you, or you didn't defend yourself. Like something was blocked. Um, and that could have prevented you from achieving something or having something. But 
not saying spirit is kind of like, aha, uh -huh, that's your fault, but it is kind of like that that's on you. You should have said, well, now you know, one to grow on. What are you going to do next time? Speak up. Right. You know, so something's going on where you had to learn something. Now, some of you may have had a premonition about a love interest um, or some sort of revelation about where your heart belongs or who holds your heart. Maybe somebody still holds your heart or something is the key to your heart. Mm. This is also inspiring you to follow your passions because to me this is talking about something that you really, really care about, something that you're really passionate about. Now see somebody wears their heart on their sleeve. So somebody is very sens sensitive or emotional. And I'm looking at how pale she is too, so someone's definitely very transparent about what they think and feel. Maybe someone has been trying to put it out there that they have a broken heart. The only thing being next to the um, sixth chakra makes me think like somebody thinks you can read their mind or you might be assuming that somebody can read your mind, which again, that is um, throat chakra problems. You know, it's like at one at what point do you just pick up the phone and call someone directly instead of assuming something or enough with the telepathic messages. I'm looking at the beam coming out of his head. So it's like someone just keeps telepathically beaming their heart out that like, hey, I want you to come find me. I want you to come near me. I want to be with you. And it's just like, that's fine and dandy. But at some point, um, that blockage, that throat chakra has got to be used like you have a voice speak mm. now also because i am seeing you know master number 44 and then this is a four here 444 four, four. some of you might be seeing fours or fours could be some sort of confirmation for you um especially maybe when it's saying hey 444 four, four, time to speak time to take action time to get something settled so that also could be something to look into as well. So I feel like there's going to be an opportunity for feelings to be expressed. It just looks like it's still spiritual though. Doesn't look like someone's actually taking action. Hopefully if that's your situation, um, you know, you and yours will be able to communicate properly with each other. Even if it's not about a breakup, you're still with this person, but you just have not been talking about things that are troubling you. Like, hopefully you guys are having an opportunity to uh, speak. I feel like, though, you guys are going to be definitely dreaming about an ex or having some sort of uh, premonitions. Something's being revealed to you from a spiritual plane. So yeah, those are the messages that I have for you guys. Hopefully they resonate, uh, but feel free to leave your comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Many blessings to you.